jackets, stain pads, gloves, screws. That's for other reasons to be safe. Wood conditioner, stain, and then the wood. All right, so I'm back home now and I'm grabbing my multi-tool, which you can add a sanding feature to it. So I just did that rather than buy a sander and gonna start sanding down everything. Once I'm done sanding, wiping everything clean of dust with a clean rag so that there's a cleaner surface. All right, so drop cloth is laid down. This is the preconditioner that's about to go on. This has been sanded and wiped down free of dust. Now I took this whole piece of plywood and just screwed screws through it so that it could serve as a drying rack. And that's a way just to use a scrap piece of wood that's lying around. All right, I just applied all the pre-wood or pre-stain conditioner to these pieces. And they're supposed to sit 30 minutes. So I'll go see if I can do the brackets inside. All right, so this is where the shelves are gonna go. It just worked out that it's gonna be about a square or evenly, so 35 inches by 35 inches. And I plan, I have enough to do three, one, two, three. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna install three right now or two, but I gotta plan for three, um, whether I install two or three right now. This room is eight feet tall, which I've taken into consideration for the three shelves that I wanna stack. Right now, I'm trying to find the studs. Each is, each shelf is going 35 inches. It just happens to be a coincidence they're each 35 inches. But that little thing on the wall is a stud finder. It holds in place, it's magnetic. And I'm looking for the studs yeah. to know where I can drill into versus where else I need to use the drywall anchors for the brackets. Comes stain. I'm doing a dark walnut, dries in one hour. Never done this before. So let's see how it goes. All right, so opening up the stain, stirring it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Then using that 89 cent uh, little paintbrush, applying it on the wood. In, in with the grain, in the direction of the grain, I think. I'm still working on that concept. Apply it liberally, and then uh, make sure you don't let it just sit. Wipe it off right away. Again, into the direction of the, the wood. Now that is not bad. All right, so. Everything is stained. Now I just gotta let it dry. And so this is with the stain down. Initially I didn't buy polyurethane wood sealer because I just didn't wanna take the time to do it. But I would recommend doing it. It seals the wood, it protects it. It's just the right way to do things. And uh, I'm glad I did. So I didn't film that part, but I also did one coat of sealer and let it dry overnight. So while that dries, I head back inside to keep uh, putting on the brackets for the shelves, checking for level. There's three screws that go into each wall, so I'm putting all of those in. And again, checking for level. I did okay. I did pretty okay on the leveling piece. Um, and even with these being put up on the left side here, I tried to make it level going north to south, which um, it's a work in progress.
All right. All the wood is in. It's still a little tacky, a touch tacky, but I think that's because it's just so cold and, uh, and wet and humid in the air, so that makes it hard to dry in general. Um, but now, now we can see what it looks like up top. So this is a 25 inch piece. I'm just gonna go this way. Those look pretty good. What, I, what I'm gonna do, I think, is put one of two things. Either these, these are little like sticky tacks, or these felt guys, whichever ones stick better, hopefully they adhere. But I'm just gonna put those so that um, it's a little bit softer against the wall, the white wall, on the backs, the ends, and the backs. Now that I'm properly caffeinated, put the shelves up on the brackets. Each bracket has three holes going into the shelf. Screw those on nice and tight so it's secure. And for now, I think that's going to do it.